warning, you can blow up your engine if you just add stuff without knowing what you are doing. I'm not responsible for your mistakes. Hello fellow automotive enthusiasts and welcome to my video regarding EGR systems. First of all, let's make sure everybody knows what an EGR system is. For starters, EGR means Exhaust Gas Recirculation System. And as the name suggests, it recirculates exhaust gas into the intake manifold and into the engine. This helps to reduce peak combustion temperatures that also help to reduce nitrogen oxide emissions, which in the end helps every breathing creature on this goddamn planet not die of breathing in poisonous gas. And yes, this includes you too, cause last time I checked, humans still need to breathe. On the other hand, this EGR system reduces the efficiency and the power output of your engine. This is why many people block it off or blank it off without thinking about uh, any alternatives. Oh yeah, and uh, the EGR also recirculates unburned fuel, soot and other crud from your exhaust back into your intake. So yeah, that's another thing why you might want to blank it off. So we have two options to block the EGR valve. Option number one is the blanking plate which is actually just a metal plate that you mount before your EGR valve so it is physically closed all the time. This isn't the best idea because your engine needs time to warm up and the EGR reduces the time that your engine needs to warm up. So basically your engine will take a lot more time to warm up which increases the wear on your engine which you do not want to do. Maybe if you combine it with an engine block heater that might help a little bit. Okay so option number two would be an EGR optimization. So this is possible if your EGR is controlled electronically by your EC you. So you are basically altering the EGR map, if you want to call it that, to keep the damn thing shut when your engine is already warmed. So in my opinion this is the best solution and the best compromise between keeping your engine clean, making it perform better and evolving not to breed. Yeah, this mostly covers the topic of EGR delete. If you want to read more check the description, I will leave a few links over there. And also I will need to take a look at the EGR valve on the focus to see how clean it is. Hopefully it needs cleaning and I can do a video on that. So don't forget, you can subscribe so you don't actually miss that video. Thanks for watching and don't forget if I said anything wrong you can correct me in the comment section.